Jimmy Thang from Maximum PC here at Computex 2015. I'm here at uh, Seagate Suite speaking with uh, Kent. And Kent, can you tell us what we're looking at here? Sure, we've got our, uh, our uh, Sandforce uh, 3500. This is our new client-based uh, SSD controller that we, uh, we have on display here. These are our reference designs that we build for our OEM uh, partners and they take these designs and build finished products with them. These are two and a half inch and M.2 solutions that, uh, that we have here. And below that you see our uh, previously announced 3700 that's more focused on the enterprise segment. Gotcha, cool. And then you, uh, you guys had an announcement recently regarding your uh, SSDs here, right? This, uh... Yeah, so the, the 3500, that's what uh, is uh, new, uh, newly announced here at, uh, at Computex. Uh, just this week, and so we're uh, we're showing uh, customers and uh, and uh, uh, end users this uh, this new chip controller that's designed for uh, taking advantage of the new flash technologies, uh, including uh, TLC and and 3D hand. Cool. And uh, we were discussing off camera. There's you know there's a whole bunch of different competitors. How would you uh, say you know you guys differentiate yourselves uh, between the competition? One of the biggest features that we have that's really different is the uh, DuraWrite capability, and so that's something that uh, allows us to take data and reduce its size. And when you do that, the key advantage is you uh, you can write your data more quickly, complete the writes more quickly to the flash. Uh, it means that since you're writing less data to the flash, you get uh, uh, a longer endurance out of that flash, and you also uh, consume uh, uh, less heat uh, and less power, uh, or generate less heat and consume less power in that same environment. Gotcha. And then I think uh, to our left we have some PCIe solutions. Yeah, so these are part, uh, uh, another part of the Seagate product uh, portfolio in our flash segment. We have our, uh, our SAS SSDs that uh, uh, Seagate had before the acquisition of the uh, uh, products from LSI. And then the uh, Nitro product line here, uh, these are uh, PCIe solutions that are uh, both accelerators uh, and uh, uh, performance solutions used in uh, more of the enterprise and cloud segments uh, to give you much higher performance uh, when it's needed. And are these uh, NVMe solutions then? Uh, we have NVMe uh, as well as uh, AHCI solutions. Gotcha. And and you know NVMe is sort of a sort of a new emerging thing, or PCIe SSDs and things like that. Can you talk about that a little bit and where Seagate's position is on that? Uh, we're investing in, uh, in in actually both segments here. NVMe is a, a uh, a great segment to add for our uh, PCIe solutions. Uh, we, uh, we fully expect to be able to take advantage of the uh, reduced protocol. Uh, there's a lot of other benefits that uh, NVMe promises within the, uh, within the PCIe segment and that should translate into much higher uh, capabilities for, uh, for the end customer. Gotcha. It, it's sort of, uh, you know, PCIe, one of the advantages is just the pure performance, you know, with uh, SATA that you're basically capped up. Capped right. Off at, so uh, SATA, you're limited to the 500 megabytes per second. Uh, PCIe, you can go, you know, much higher than that. Gen 2, Gen 3 lets you do uh, uh, much more significant performance. Yeah. And I think I asked you this off camera, but do you happen to know, like, if there is there, like, what is the, the hard limit? I mean, it's kind of... Um, it's, it's kind of a complicated question. But. Yeah, because it depends on the number of channels that you have. Mm -hmm. and, and just because you look at the generation of the uh, PCIe spec that you're using, uh, your, your generation times the number of channels gives you a theoretical maximum number. Uh, but you have to actually account for how your architecture internally is taking advantage of that. So there's, there's a, a, a very large uh, potential and uh, we actually see this on a lot of solutions uh, when we're testing them. Uh, even uh, we even have SATA solutions that can beat many PCIe Gen 3 solutions out there today. And so you have to be careful of just looking at a spec. You, what, you, what we found is you have to really go through and, uh, and do the full testing that, uh, that will show you how the product is going to work in a real life environment because the spec itself is just a number. Gotcha. And, and you know, off camera, we're sort of talking about some of the, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult. I think a lot of people don't know how difficult it is to do, you know, accurate uh, SSD 
uh, testing. Can you sort of talk about like some of your issues um, with the way that people perceive benchmarks and things like that? I just thought that's kind of interesting, and you know, some of our readers might. Uh, uh, some might of, sorry. you know, some of the most complex elements that uh, that uh, we do see are when you're only looking at 100% reads or only looking at 100% writes. You're not taking uh, account for what the system is going to be doing in that real life environment, especially if you're a boot drive, there's going to be uh, situations where you know the operating system is doing things in the background. So in a typical client environment, if you're just looking at a benchmark that's just looking at reads or writes, you know, you could get a false understanding of what your system might do. Because when you mix those together, typically all the competitive drives I've seen have uh, uh, what I would say would be a bathtub curve. So the, the performance you know, at the two extremes, 100% read or 100% write, would be relatively high and very impressive. But then when you uh, actually look uh, at the mixed read-write, you can drop by almost 50% of the performance. So you know, if you only went with the specs or only looked at a benchmark that looked at simply reads or simply writes, you'd have a kind of a false understanding of how it's going to work in, when you really set it up to use in your system. Gotcha. All right. Thanks, Ken. All right. Thank you.